Good day. Well, it's Monday after a long weekend. Mm. And I kind of want to, I just thought we'd turn the camera on while I cook dinner, like I normally do. Nothing fancy, nothing crazy. It's leftovers that I'm going to try and make edible. Really make You're pretty good at that. that. <laughs> um, but I guess it's more of an excuse to talk. I like to talk. We all know that. We do. <laughs> so what are you, what's the, uh, what was in the fridge? What was left over? So, we have two sirloin steaks here that, I'm, that are nice steaks, so they're just, they're just cold. I'm not going to do anything crazy to them. I'm just going to flash them again on the grill to get some heat through them um, and slice them up. We're basically going to make kind of rice bowls, I guess. Okay. I've got some tomatoes here and a cucumber that is eating. We've also got some fruit, but that doesn't really work. Uh, and then I think I'm going to make some, like, I guess... A toom, toom, I think I'm pronouncing that right. Like a garlic sauce, basically. But excuse me, Duck. Duck. We're filming. Like a really delicious kind of, um, you know, Middle Eastern style garlic sauce. Literally garlic, lemon juice and olive oil in a mortar and pestle. Nothing crazy. But I do want to get these cucumbers. This cucumber's a bit soft, actually. Should be right. We might get it salted. Salted? Yeah. Mm. We'll just get... Get some salt on it because it's a bit old. We'll get some salt on it and draw some of that moisture out. Is that for flavour or to make it crispy? Yeah, to not for flavour as such. More so just to kind of pull some of that moisture out. Yep. How's your week been, Caitlin? A week or weekend? Well, it's been a weird one, isn't it? It has been a bit of a weird one. It's good. Lots of eating around Easter. Um, we went to a friend's family Easter lunch yesterday, which uh, Italian family. So it was lots of amazing food that they'd been prepping for a few days. Um, their nonna was up from Melbourne. Um, so it was a good eight hours of <laughs> eating. Literally, um, literally eight hours eating the whole time. Yeah, we put away a lot of food. <laughs> It was good though. A um, few things I'd never tried before, crispelli being one of them, my new favourite fried thing. Um, I like the plain ones, but you really like the one with the anchovy stuffed yeah. noodle as well. Yeah, the anchovy was good. That was good. Um, oh, there was lots. And then the lamb skewers that they did on that interesting charcoal barbecue. It was pretty good too, wasn't mm. it? But yeah. Lots of eating, lots of wine, which is why tonight's wine is um, water in a wine glass. Yeah, right. How was your weekend? It was good. It was good. Four day weekends kind of, I don't, I don't know if I love Long. them to be honest. <laughs> mm. Sounds like a weirdo, but I kind of enjoy my work. So four days feel like a, a long time to not work. I mean, I still did work, but I didn't, like, film anything. So yeah. maybe that's what uh, spurred on this impromptu <laughs> video. And you, and you can't last four days without filming. <laughs> Could bring back the vlog. <laughs> what do we have here? So that's sherry vinegar, which I think is a really good thing to have in your kitchen. Is some other vinegars other than the normal stuff. It's a bit more expensive, but mm, it smells good. It is a lot better tasting. Are you using this? Or is this yeah, it'll be for the under. dressing. Yeah. Okay. He yep, has a few yep. things stash under his counter. So. Yeah, this counter is pretty funny. It gets pretty messy when I'm filming in here. And then some lovely fresh tomatoes, which is I mean, it's not really the season anymore, but why is my hand so red? Is it, is it? Sorry, Chef. Don't do that. Don't do that. Step back. Um, what's coming up for this week? Uh, big filming week now. I've got four days of filming. Mm -hmm. So I just said I'm missing filming, and by Thursday I'll be over it. I've mm. um, got to shoot a bunch of shorts tomorrow, and then a YouTube on Wednesday. Uh, I'm going to do a shepherd's pie on Wednesday. Bit of a classic. Mm. Um, and then 
more shorts here on Thursday and then we're at Kilcoy to shoot some stuff there on Friday. Uh, and then are we away next weekend? No, we're not. No, we're, we're here. here. Quiet one. Quiet weekend. Yeah. Don't use your tea towel to wipe your bench, it's grubby. Tis, tis. I can definitely smell that meat. Yeah, I reckon you can too. You're looking at me it like... It looks good. Well, that's onion, you can't eat that. No, mate. Not for you. All right, I have got some rice cooking. I'm gonna use B-cam to show you it quickly and run you through it. And this is my cheats rice. So in here, basmati rice, I've done a lot so that it, um, we've got a lot for to eat throughout the week. And then I'll just shove a bunch of spices in here. So turmeric, uh, cumin, or ground cumin, coriander, um, salt, white pepper, and I think a little bit of smoked paprika as well. And it's just a way to kind of get like some flavor into your rice and you're not just eating plain rice all the time. So we try and eat really clean when we're not eating for videos or trying to eat, and it mm. sounds like such a loser thing to say, eating clean, <laughs> but it's so true. We're just gonna be really careful about how- Eating well. Yeah, mm. what we're putting in our bodies, because we eat out a lot um, when we're traveling, and then we film a lot, obviously, and we film all kinds of random stuff and delicious stuff. So, so you have to taste test. You have to, <laughs> have to taste test. <laughs> so yeah, we just be just cautious about what we eat, but yeah. I need to start making the scallop sauce or we're gonna be here. Forever. This is not a sauce that you make if you're trying to impress someone. <laughs> what is that? How many garlic cloves are uh, It's about pretty to much this one? just garlic. So, I mean, I'm not going to make a big batch, but I'll use probably six cloves of garlic. Okay. Yeah. Um, but it's raw. We will take the stems out the center. That helps a little bit and soak it in a little bit of water. So if we pair your garlic, and then you'll see a, probably should use a smaller knife, that piece there, that's the oldest piece of the garlic, and it can be the, it's usually the strongest piece as well. So we'll go through and do that. I'm gonna get some water ready for that. Soak those in water. What does that do? Sorry, I missed that. Well, the stem, taking the stem out, is just, it's just kind of a strong part, and right. soaking the water also just kind of softens it a little bit. Okay. This is one of those sauces that will be pretty hotly contested in the comments section of the main pages, because... Why? Well, it's everyone's... Everyone's got a version. Everyone's grandmother probably does it differently. Yeah. Fair enough. What's your on for your week, Caitlin? Um, quite a lot. Quite a lot. On. A few contracts that need to be read and signed and sent off. Um, also still working through the product project. Oh tracking there's a few things are sort of gearing up for the website and for the photo shoot can you give them a date yet no <laughs> i don't even know a date to be uh, honest why not ideally or well, it's just there's still some samples that we're waiting on um but ideally it will be end of may end of may can i hold you to that no you can't all right you can't that's why I don't, I don't want to say a date just because. It's more me than, than this lot, isn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. You'll start talking about it if I give you a date. Mm. But it's really exciting. Um, yeah, just, just sampling it. Thank you. That one can go on the bin. Yeah. Yeah, it's been a big learning curve, hasn't it? I think we've kind of talked about it a bit in the past. We've... We weren't that keen to just, oh, oh bugger, what's wrong with me? 
Yeah, sampling just takes a lot longer than what you expect because if it doesn't come back the way you want it, you've got to get it redone again. That can take six weeks, eight weeks. Um, so it just keeps pushing everything back. But we're getting there. Um, but at least... You know, we've signed off on majority of the products and we're really happy with where they're at from a quality perspective. Um, there's probably just one that we're still going a bit back and forth on. So and we just don't want to put anything out that's not good. <laughs> like if we're not going to use it, we don't expect you guys to. So um, yeah, it'll come out eventually and it'll be exciting. <laughs> Anyway, so my, my week is just still wrapped up, probably in that. Um, there's probably a few other things we've got going on at the moment. And then whatever emails sort of land in my inbox, because I, I filter all of his emails. So anyone that is emailing Andy, I've got to go through it first. I've got to get through you to get to me. Mm, pretty much. Yeah, so that's the week. And then quiet weekend. Um, Not a quiet weekend. Although yeah. it wasn't really quiet this weekend, but mm. we kind of travel so much these days that it feels weird when we don't travel. To be honest, in the weekends, <laughs> we try and travel like if we've got something to do in another city, we'll travel like Thursday night or Friday, and then do that Friday or whatever we need to do. Maybe spend Saturday in the city or or Monday, and that's because of filming. We still need to get a lot of filming in, so we try and get. Mm to do with what we need to do at the start or the end of the week so we've still got the rest of the week to film um, which works yeah. most of the time I think you're going away the following week or yeah, yeah. out for two days what's next chef well I'm going to start making noise and oh, okay so we'll see how this goes if it's if it's really loud, we'll just Oh, you like cut. pounding that thing? Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to put the garlic and the mortar and pestle. And I'm going to add some salt. And interesting salt fact, while I'm, I'm not really pounding, I'm kind of more smushing, so it should be all right. And I'll talk about salt for a second. My mate Nagi made a really good point online the other day that the... Um, Sometimes people complain that the recipe's uh, too salty. And I do tend to go pretty hard on salt, but I try and kind of... Uh, just reduce it a bit in the recipes. Anyway, Nagi posted a, a um, story about what salt she uses, and I use the same salt, but not by coincidence, because I guess because we're both home cooks um, and it made sense so I use what's called cooking salt so it's still sea salt but it's cooking salt not table salt so if you use the same amount of table salt that I say instead of cooking salt it's going to be much saltier so I use a, it's a sea salt and it's called cooking salt it's a, it's a coarser grain so it's not like a mold and sea salt they're not big big grains but they're just a lot coarser um, so in, in the States, it's called kosher salt. I'm not sure why it's called kosher salt, but we call it cooking salt here. It's still, it's still proper sea salt. It's just evaporated from salt water. It's not iodinized. It's not nothing like that. It's pretty crazy how quickly that, that garlic goes from... So mushy. Yeah. Lemon juice. I'm going to use a whole lemon. I'm not going to stress about the pips because I'm used to eating them. Yeah, it's home cooking. Who cares? Seriously. If you get a pip, it's because it's good luck. And then all we need to do is stream in a bit of gar um, garlic, a bit of uh, olive oil.
So we'll just stream that in as we're mixing it. Is this a good olive oil? This is just, it's extra virgin. It's not like first harvest. It's good olive oil. It's um, Rich Glen, which we use a lot of. Not sponsored, we just like them. They're good people. Out in Victoria, and they make good olive oil. So crazy now how you have to say that every time you like. Just not sponsored. <laughs> They're just, not paying me to say we this. Just use the product. We just use the product. I also use their skincare. <laughs> not sponsored. Not sponsored. So I, did, I just get these 20 litre drums of it because I use so much. I also like frying it and everything. People freak out when you fry an olive oil, but I don't think there's anything wrong with it. Sometimes the olive oil can be strong though. If you're using it in like dressings and salads, sometimes it is too strong. Um, but you can use what they call commas olive oil, which is just, it's not extra virgin, it's a lot lower flavor. Look at that. It's quite thick. Actually thicker than what I expected. I guess it's an emulsification. Mm. It is quite thick. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Smells it. Good though. So if that's too strong for you, like you could keep adding more olive oil, more and more and more and more and more, and it will get more like, less soft. This is quite strong. I don't mind it. She's gonna think it's too strong. Ooh, hoo, hoo. <laughs> like almost spicy. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> but the reason that I, I'm gonna leave it at that is because I don't. As much as I love olive oil, it is very high in calories, so. I try not to kind of go too crazy on it, but we'll just put less in there in your salad. That on just some sourdough would actually be really nice. Yeah, I think it's also, you're eating it together. Yeah. You're not, you're <laughs> yeah. not, eating, you're not eating it. You have smelly breath together. Like that. Oh, that's not what I meant. <laughs> I meant the dish. Right, okay. <laughs> All right, I'm just gonna flash these steaks on the grill quickly. Um, Do you want me to film? No, nah, it's nothing. I mean, these guys know what. Cooking some yeah. steaks quickly. All right, there you go. That was boring, so we didn't film it. Steaks, I'll slice up. Yum. What kind of steaks are they? Just sirloins. I'll take the fat cap off, because we're trying to be healthy. And the then my favorite type of um, well, m one of my rules with TV dinners, because this is effectively what this will be, is a TV dinner, is, uh, which is a bad habit, we should stop doing that, but, um, because it's got to be, you've got to eat it with one hand, so you've got to be, you know, you've got to be able to kind of... Yeah, that's fair. So you Not don't have to cut it. You don't have to cut while you're sitting down and eating, watching the telly. Yeah. And if you were drinking wine tonight, Caitlin, what wine would you pair with this? You got a little bit of, not heat, but you got some spice from the rice, a bit of acid from your dressings and, mm -hmm. the, and the salad, mm -hmm. some steak. Well, it's still warm at the moment, so I'm still... You're still on the whites? I'm still on the whites. I haven't been able to swap over to the reds yet. I'm very much a seasonal drinker. Um, <laughs> As in every, every day? Not every day. Oh. Just just weekends now. Um, I don't know. Some nice white aromatic wine. Like maybe like a Suave or Fiano or Vermentino. Something along those lines. Work well with the spice. To work with the meat. But I'm also I'm not one that's like I don't you don't need to pair your wines with your food. Like sure some Work better with your foods, but just drink what you want to drink. Are uh, wine pairings in fancy restaurants bullshit then? I wouldn't say it's bullshit. It's just... I appreciate that level of knowledge and care when it comes to wine and food matching. However, I don't think 
It's if not... I just want to drink what I want to drink, I don't think it's going to ruin the food and I don't think the food is going to ruin the wine. Unless you're, you know, if you're going a highly acidic wine with a, like a very acidic salad, sure, like your mouth might, you know, have a bit of an overload. But... Yes. It's not really how we eat though either, is it? We don't. No. I love, I do enjoy the odd fine dining experience, but it's not my, yeah. it's not my go-to. No. Just eat and drink what you want. It's just food. Mm. All right, there's our rice. Yum. That's enough for me. I made a lot of rice, didn't I? We eat a lot of rice. Is that enough for you? Yep, that's plenty. Thank you. Then we're just going to dress our salad. Where's my vinegar? Sorry. Bit of sherry vinegar. You could put some olive oil in there too if you wanted, but there's enough in that dressing. Just carrots, some red onion, salted cucumber. So is the dressing going on top of the beef or just on top just of the dish? Just totally everything. Okay. Do you not like it that much that you don't want? No, I do. <laughs> I just thought it was going on the salad. Nah. Salad's good for you. I know it's good for me. That's a lot. I haven't eaten much protein today either. So. Mm. Enough steak? Yeah, that's funny. Thank you. And then the dressing, Lovely. and we're done. What are we going to watch on the tally tonight? We're not really watching anything at the moment, are we? Nothing the same. <laughs> she doesn't want to watch Cletus McFarlane with me. The best YouTuber of all time. I don't mind watching a little bit of it, but not going to sit down to watch an episode. Not, not Cletus. You're not a Cletus fan. No. Some of your YouTubers are fun. We've been watching a bit of action lately together. Yeah, action okay. Bronson. He's back at the moment. He's back. He's doing some good... Food tours of, I think he's been in France, hasn't he? Yeah, Europe and France. Good food. There you go, done. Dinner, how long will that take me? Well, I guess without cleaning the rice, probably 20 minutes, an hour all together. Delicious. And, and it's delicious. Thanks for watching us cook our dinner. We'll see you bon next appetit. time. Bon appetit. Bon appetit. All right, I need a photo.